lot heavier, but it may be a lot easier than robbing a bank. ATMs can hold thousands of dollars. And now as WMER 2 News Jeff Hager tells us tonight, thieves have hit an unlikely target in East Baltimore. They have struck again ATM bandits who have targeted a business that was literally built to service the Waverly community. Caught on camera, a man entering a grocery store and heading straight for the ATM. He would soon call for the help of an accomplice with a set of bolt cutters to free the machine from the floor and haul it away. But this isn't just any grocery store. It's the first of its kind in the country, a nonprofit sponsored by the Salvation Army to deliver more than just groceries in the middle of one of Baltimore's food deserts. The good thing about DMG is, is that um, they give back to the community. Um, you can come in and purchase something and they even give out free groceries and non-perishable items to people. Um, and then they give free fruit um, to the children in the area. DMG stands for doing the most good. And the store combines social service elements like nutritional guidance, meal planning and workforce development with traditional grocery shopping with no markup. Major Roger Glick of the Salvation Army says the thieves operated like pros, wearing masks and gloves, and getting in and out of the store in about two minutes time. The store just added the ATM a few months ago to better serve its customers. And it was a part of the idea of the store, so if people come in and they need to get something and they don't have cash ready available to them, then the machine is there to be able to serve them so that they can make purchases for their family, you know. So yeah, it's unfortunate. Unfortunate and a slap in the face to residents of the community who have lost the ability now to get much needed cash just because of thieves determined to score some quick bucks. They don't care. It's a disregard and it is a disrespect to the neighborhood and the community and the people of the community. So yes, it is because if you need help and if you need something, there are other community resources that you can go to for employment and things of that nature. So, you know. It's just, it hurts the community itself. If you have any information which could help identify the thieves, you're asked to call the police. Reporting in East Baltimore, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.